We are hearing for the first time from the management company overseeing the Harbor Point Gardens apartment complex in Troy. Now, dozens of people are still out of their homes tonight, more than a week after they were evacuated over concerns about the potential for falling bricks. City leaders initially said the issues would be resolved in four to five days, but displaced tenants still don't know when they can go back home. Cities first issued a uh, code violation back on May the 9th. Now questions remain about how the property ended up in that condition in the first place. News 10 ABC's Michaela Singleton speaking with management to try to find some answers in a story you'll see only on News 10. One week down and still no movement at the Harbor Point Gardens apartments. Within 24 hours of Mayor Madden's emergency evacuation order, a crew was on scene removing one of the many crumbling brick facades that the city's engineers deemed a hazard. But th that's just where I guess I'm confused because if they had started the work on Friday, why did we have them stop the work over the weekend, even up until Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, now Friday? So the issue was is I had to have an engineer uh, do a report. They had a different plan in mind than we did and our plan requires a little bit more than they initially thought. This is the first time we've been able to sit down with Robert Howard, the regional general manager for Lexington Property Group. Lexington is the owner above the registered Harbor Point Gardens owner, which Mayor Madden identified as 182 Delaware LLC. We also had management that was changed there, so we're in much better shape now. And that's our fault. Howard says he met with the city Thursday to come to an agreement. He says he plans to ask the original contractors to work through the holiday weekend. My goal is to walk in on Wednesday morning back from the holiday and have all the bricks removed, <clears throat> hauled off the property, and be able to call the city for an inspection. But residents tell us there have been long-standing issues and code violations in their apartments and not enough fixed since the new owners bought it in 2022. Flooding. Too much heat, not enough heat, walls for uh, interior walls falling. We need the enforcement. We need it to be enforced. And um, in my opinion, I feel that the current administration was not diligent and this should have never escalated to this point. In the meantime, more than 120 residents remain at a local hotel. If they can't return soon, their representative says he wants the city to take stronger action. It is long past the time when this landlord needs to be brought before the Troy Code Enforcement Court. Of course we reserve the right to take a property owner to court in the event that they don't comply with um, uh, code directives. Uh, our goal though isn't to do that. Our goal is to work with them to get tenants back in as quickly as possible. Reporting in Troy, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.